Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. We are on day 23 on our island of Everbell, and yeah, let's see what Isabel has to say for the day. No big announcements. I am like, you're killing me, Smalls. Like, I just <laughs> want some news. Can we get an NPC? Can we get a camper? Um, red would be amazing right now because it's been forever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a good day so far. Um, yeah, uh, just needed to kind of run around and do a little checking in with some of our villagers. Um, I just want to make sure everyone's happy and healthy and that we don't have to dole medicine out to anyone today. Hey, Raymond. <laughs> he's always so easygoing. I love him. He's like, he's a smug type, but I feel like he's not high maintenance at all. I love him. <laughs> KK Slider is here. Hey, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> I really need to get into the habit of going to this KK Slider concerts now that he has arrived here because um, for anyone that's newer to the game, you can actually request um, hidden songs. There's three of them. Um, Animal City is one of them. Drive-In, um, ending in, the N, in an N with an apostrophe. And um, there's one other one too. I'll have to look that up. But there are three hidden songs that if you go up to him and request them specifically, as long as you type them in right with the spelling, um, you'll get some bootleg copies of the song. Um, and it's the only way to get it in the game. So yeah, I gotta put that, that on my list of to-dos. Hey, Fauna. Looks like Fauna is using her craft bench. She is so cute. I love her. We really uh, need to come up with an idea on where to put her on the island and what type of build to, to do for her. I know deer like thickets, so I'm thinking something with heavy trees and foliage um, just to keep her happy, I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, or message me, um, email me. Let me know like what you think we should do with Fauna's house um, as we go along building up Everbell. I'd love to hear your ideas and try to come up with something unique. So yeah, I think everyone seems to be doing pretty well that I wanted to check in with. Um, I haven't checked in with Goose. I made a like faux pas and accidentally said hi to him after ignoring him for a couple of weeks. I am sadly trying to get him to sort of leave. <laughs> I know that's so mean. I feel so guilty. Like it's it's totally against my nature to like not talk to um people, let alone little cute little animals. So I've heard that there's an acronym on trying to get villagers to leave. Um it's EAT, E A T, and it's <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, it really totally works though. Like if you can exclude them, which is E, avoid, which is A, and time, which is the T, just letting time pass. Um, if you sort of give attention to everybody except maybe the one villager you're trying to sort of get to bump down on the list of your friendship points, um, sadly it does tend to work. So if anyone's looking for a way to sort of um, casually... <laughs> do the fade away on certain villagers just remember eat um exclude so you're going to give gifts to everybody that you want to stay except the for the the villager you're trying to sort of lose points with um <laughs> avoid don't say hi to them um yeah which seems so mean i can't even and time of course letting time go by um anyways now that we've said hi to everybody um just walking down our adorable awesome nature trail that we built um, the other day on the island. I'm really loving it. Um, we kind of spruced up the camping area and right next to it, um, this is the area we wanted to work on today. Yeah, I'm so excited. I went ahead and moved Marty's house here. So it looks perfect. I think it's going to be amazing for this build. It's just a cute little um, yellow and red log cabin. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm thinking like what I wanted to do here um, is do some sort of camp area and I wanted to do it specifically as like a scout camp. Um, I saw some inspo online. I believe I found it on Reddit and just um, was thankfully able to get together some of the items for the build. So let's get going. I am going to turn on my island designer and we'll speed things up a little bit just to kind of make it go a little faster for you guys. Um, yeah, so we're going to put together a scout camp, hopefully. Um, so as I usually do, I'm going to try to put some of the pathing down first. Um, I'm going to stick with the same sort of, um, dirt style path that we have used in a lot of the builds on this island so far. I really like it. It's versatile and I think it fits the theme really well on the island. 
So we're just going to start putting down pieces of this. Um, I do try to put the outside down first just to kind of get an idea of maybe how I want everything to be set up. But of course, um, <laughs> just like any build, as I'm sure you guys are familiar, sometimes you have to sort of move things around and redo a few areas. So my idea was to sort of get like the outline of the path and then of course fill in the center. And I just like this path, as I said in the last video, because it has a lot of pieces. It's really versatile. It has some of the skinny, narrow, one square pieces that are either vertical or horizontal, which I find really helpful when you're sort of trying to like squeeze into small spaces. Um, I just find it, it's more seamless. It looks more natural. Um, yeah, I really like it. I've been really happy with it so far. So I'll be sure to list the um, designer information in the comments for you guys if you're interested in using it yourselves and um, along with any other custom design patterns we use in this build today. So I'm just sort of shaping this. I'm thinking like I definitely want to have plenty of um, space to put some some of the kids tents down. Um, that was sort of the concept for the build to have several of the same colored kids tents along with just various camping type items and I know I definitely want to create some sort of picnic area um, ideally, I feel like I have an idea where I want it to be sort of like a park where there's multiple picnic tables, but I sort of fear that once we get the tents down and everything, there's probably not going to be enough space for that. I tend to have these ideas and then as I put them together, I notice that, um, either the items take up a lot more squares in area that I'm, that I'm anticipating. And I'm trying to not mess too much with the rivers. I do like the shape of the rivers on this island that we chose when we started, so... We might have to cut back some of it or add a little bit of land in, but yeah, I kind of want to keep it fairly natural. So I'm just filling in um, some of this pathing just to kind of get an idea of how much space we're going to have to work with. And once we start placing items down, maybe we'll have a little bit better idea of how it's going to work. <laughs> I can see that I'm going to have to shovel up these mums too. Um, I had a lot of mums that naturally grew in because that is the island flower on Everbell. So I was excited about that because the green mums are, it seems they're exceptionally hard to breed, but once you get the green mums, the hybrids, they just grow like crazy. So I like the look of them and I was pretty excited to get mums for this island. So um, yeah, my third tier, the third tier guys of Everbell, it's bananas. Like there's mums everywhere. They've taken over. There's weeds, there's mums. I'm pretty sure like I don't want to check the reading for Everbell right now because there's no way that we are at five stars because of all the weeds that have gone on <laughs> up top. It's embarrassing. Um, yeah, so we'll get to that though as we go. Um, plenty of time to pull weeds later and maybe um, we'll wait until the day when Leaf is visiting because, you know, for anyone starting out, um, when Leaf, the NPC, which is the adorable sloth that visits when when they're visiting like you can sell weeds for double the price if not triple so it's one of those things that it's worth hoarding weeds or waiting to pick your weeds until a day that leaf visits if you're looking to make a little bit of extra money um stuff like that so yeah uh, just filling in this path um i had to expand the land a little bit at the end just so it made a little bit better shape at the end i wanted it to be a little bit more symmetrical i know that's not supernatural style but I just I think it's gonna be easier to place items that way so just based on what I'm sort of envisioning and I kind of like these two pine trees over here so once we're able to move some of the items I think I'm gonna leave those up and just try to incorporate them into the build so I think this looks pretty good as far as the pathing goes um, we might have to change a little bit of it but yeah let's kind of get going and placing items because I know there's a lot in this build so let's see um yeah, this isn't working for me. <laughs> I can already see. You see how quickly I changed my mind? Are you guys the same way? Like, I don't know. I feel like it takes time to sort of work with the pathing. Um, I know I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with this pattern design and it does make it go a little bit faster, but yeah. All right, so I'm putting down some of the kids' tents. I'm going with the white colored ones. Um, I actually initially thought I might want to do this like multicolored and do maybe a whole bunch of different colored versions of the kids tents um, for anybody that played back in the winter these adorable and highly useful and versatile items were something that you could buy during the holiday season um, yeah so I really think they're cute um, the white is sort of plain but I think it's perfect for this sort of like scout 
tent type of build, scout camp build, whatever, because I feel like it's a little more uniform. Um, like I said, my initial idea was that maybe I'd use a whole bunch of different colored tents because there's some really cute ones that are striped or polka dot or kind of girly looking. And I do like the variety, but I'm sort of thinking for this particular build, uniformity will probably look a little bit better. So um, we're, we're just going to go with the basic white for this one. So um, I'm, I guess I'm going to try to differentiate the little areas um, for the little scouts maybe by just um, changing up some of the items that we're placing outside of the tent, whether that be like sleeping bags. Um, I've got some of the camping cots that I've saved. I was lucky enough on my other two islands to get two totally different camping cot colors at the beginning of the game when they give you, you know, whatever random color they give you at the beginning. So that makes it a little bit easier to have some variety. Um, so I'm just sort of placing these tents, trying to decide which way I want them to face. How this might work because I do want to leave enough space to have like a little picnic area so I'm I'm struggling a little bit to decide how I want to face everything and what I want to put where um, I've got a cute little garden faucet um, just some little camping type of things I've got another campsite sign that I got from the pocket camp item and I did see um, on reddit when I saw this build I thought it was completely genius that the person that created this idea used a Mario flag in the build just to sort of mark an area. It just seems perfect for a scout camp. <laughs> I love it. And one of the things I didn't even think about, um, I wish I would have gotten footage of this at the, at the end, but um, yeah, the Mario flag, when you actually raise the flag, turns into the M for Mario when it raises up and down. So I just feel like that's perfect for Marty's house. I don't know. It was sort of like one of those things that I hadn't realized and planned out until I placed it and tried it. And yeah, it was just a, a chef's kiss moment. Like perfect. <laughs> oh, so anyways, um, placing this utility shelf and a little like red locker, um, just sort of things like I said that seem to go with the theme of camping and a little scout camp. I've got an inflatable sofa that I sort of thought would be cute because it's like a camo color. I thought it would be perfect for like a scout camp, that sort of thing. Um, just some little things like, again, these camping cots and things you would see around a campsite, like a little bucket of water to put out the fire. Um, we'll have to get some, maybe like some snacks or something for the sitting area. I'm not really sure yet. We'll have to see what we have in storage and what we have available. Um, I haven't looked in Nook's Cranny today, so we might have to pop by there if, if there's anything that maybe they might have that would help with our build today. So putting down some log um, stools around our campfire just to create a little bit of a seating area that is um, big enough for people to move through, but also <laughs> cute enough for the build. I'm not really sure. Like, I think I'm just trying to decide what to put on top of the locker. I had a life ring, but I feel like I've, I'm going to move that somewhere else. Um, this is also a little pocket camp item. I know this is moving pretty quickly, but, um, the little tiny car that truck rather that I placed on top of the locker. It's so cute. It's got like a little, um, I guess it's like a checkered pattern, like a Buffalo check pattern. So cute. Perfect for camping. Um, it's customizable so you can turn it into different colors and designs um with with some of the um DIY kits so yeah love it super worth it if you haven't checked out the pocket camp thing um I'm hopeful that those items are still available to new people signing up to play pocket camp it was definitely a motivator for me um I'd never played pocket camp in the past but um yeah I rather enjoyed it like it was a fun game it is a little bit more limited as far as graphics and stuff, obviously, compared to New Horizons. So going backwards was a little bit different for me, but it's fun. Like, a little more basic, but just a different feel. So I enjoyed it. It's nice to have, like, if you're out and about and you don't have your Switch with you and you just want to, like, play around on your phone for a little bit while you're waiting for an appointment or, you know, something like that. So I'm um, just working this path again. I don't know. Like, I feel like this path was not working in my favor today for some reason. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, if we can get a good shape and sort of move things around so that it'll, it'll work out in the end for how we want to place everything in this build. So I think that looks a little bit better. Not really sure what to do with this tent. I feel like no matter how I put the tents. Oh, I hate when I kick a path. 
Do you guys do that too? I feel like it's frustrating. I don't know why. I wish there was a way that we could like, that Nintendo would correct that so that you have to actually do the, um, <laughs> use the app actually on your phone, like to actually get rid of it instead of just kicking it. It's really frustrating. <laughs> Anyways, we've got our log table here. Um, I'm going to put this as the little picnic area. I think it'll be really cute um, just to have one little seating area. I envisioned like two or three picnic tables for this build, but I don't want to eat up any more of the river than I already have. So I think we're just going to have to settle for one picnic table and just play up all the tents. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Um, I really like the river, so I don't want to have to sacrifice that. We've got a little clothesline here and it's got some um, grungy little dirty outfits. I thought it would be perfect for a scout camp. Just a little bit of laundry, a little telescope out for a little night stargazing and just a little place to sit, listen to the radio, have a little drink water break and have a snack at the picnic table. So um, I, okay, so I had done this before on my previous island, but there is an adorable um, Jet Puff Mar Marshmallow custom code out there, and I'll put that in the comments for you guys. It's so cute in a setting like this if you're doing forest core or some sort of camping theme on your island, or even if you're just decorating your campsite area. Like, it's super cute. You just take a cushion in the game and customize it with um, a little marshmallow, Jet Puff Marshmallow code, and it totally looks like a bag of marshmallows. I'm sure you'll get a chance to see it here when we work um, on the picnic area a little more um, as I'm moving, moving all these tents around. But yeah, super cute. <laughs> so I'm thinking um, I want to do some sort of like, I've got a stack of Zen cushions here that I'm putting next to to the telescope um, just for a little area to sit while you're stargazing but I'm thinking I want to do something like maybe a barbecue or a grill or something over by that picnic table and I honestly don't know that I have that in my storage so I'm gonna have to see um, there's a chance I'm gonna have to check Nook's Cranny or I might have to actually mail myself a barbecue from one of my other um, islands because I know I've got it cataloged somewhere so we'll see what we can come up with um, for this area, I wanted it to be like a little welcome area for the camp, the scout camp, like a little kiosk where you could check in. Um, I just think this little statue is just so funny and quirky in this game. I don't know what it is. It's just like, you can't look at it and not laugh. Like it's just, it's, he's got such a, a goofy, cute little face and his little hat. So I just, I thought it would be cute for the scout camp. Um, and I put this stall out. I think. I think I just wanted to display, like, make it look like a welcome center. I've got a festival um, garland here that I'm putting up behind it, and we'll probably have to put something up on the stall, maybe like some welcome brochures or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to head over here. Um, I do need to run in Nook's Cranny, um, and in the moment, it's like escaping me where Nook's Cranny is. I feel like, do you guys ever do that? Like, I, you get used to where something is on your island, and when you move it, it's like automatic response. You just sort of think for a second, like you start running in the direction of wherever you had it before. I don't know. <laughs> it's like finger gamer, gamer finger memory or something. I don't know. So, um, no luck in Nook's Cranny um, for a barbecue, but I am thrilled that our villagers are using our nature path. I think that's fabulous. So, yay for that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little um, simple shop sign that I found a custom design that is a copy or pictured pattern of the camp sign from the pocket camp. Um, and so I went ahead and customized these stack of magazines to look like brochures. And I've got this mom's pen stand. Um, I thought that would be kind of cute just to set out at the kiosk to make, maybe make it look like a sign in place where you would sign in, get a brochure, um, all that sort of stuff. So. I might even drop a uniform like I know in this game there's a very very cute scout type uniform I want to say it's the explorer shirt and explorer shorts there's some really cute tube socks out there that are like athletic socks and some hiking boots and um, I know there's a hat like a lettered cap I think it is and you can buy them all sort of in that like like scout green color I don't know what the official name is but I was thinking that might be cute um, just to make it a little more interactive so that if if someone is visiting the island, they can pick up the 
check in at the kiosk, pick up their scout uniform, um, try it on and just sort of run around to take some pictures or whatever. Um, I love I love to try to incorporate stuff like that in builds when I can, just to make it fun and interactive for anybody that might eventually dream to the island or any of my friends that come to visit. So yeah. So I think we're finishing up with some of the items here. Um, I skipped a few things. I'll try to put some of the items in the comments or excuse me, in the description for you guys in case you're curious what was used for this build. But yes, I love it. Look how perfect Marty's house looks. Um, I'm super thrilled. And it looks like he's home. So let's go take a peek and visit him. I can't wait. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. It's the perfect color. Marty. Oh my gosh. Look at his little hat. He's so cute. Hi, buddy. Oh, his snack castle. He's so cute. He's so cute. This is perfect. I love this. Okay, but wait a second. Shut up. Oh my gosh, you guys. What is going on with the vibes of that rug? Like, what? What is up? Like, is that really what it looks like? Am I, I mean, really? I'm, <laughs> I'm admittedly like starting to question my decision to put Marty in charge of the scout camp. I feel like this is, like, on the verge of epic fail. Like, nothing negative intended at all. Like, I just loved the look of the outside of his house. I was thinking it would be seriously adorable um, as a log cabin. But if I'm being honest, like, his decor is a little off-putting for, for, the, for the scene, for the scenario. But I love Marty. I love the look of his log cabin. Um, I'm going to just assume that everything is on the up and up and yeah I really like I'm really excited with how this build turned out I hope you guys liked it I hope you enjoyed it I hope you give it a try yourself thank you so much for joining me today you guys wishing you the best take care and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.